Hi, this is Dr. Kathleen Hallinan, and we are continuing our weight loss vlog. Today I'm going to go over a, uh, an article that was published in the International Journal of Obesity. And this was a, a very well done small study that showed that there is a substantial difference in the amount of spike neutralizing antibody that is produced between people who have a BMI of over 30 when compared to people who have a BMI of under 25. So what did they do? It was a very small study, uh, only 30 patients. However, their, their findings were very dramatic. And why is this important? Why should we know about this? Because most people are talking about vaccinations, which absolutely have saved so many thousands of lives, and therapeutics, Regeneron and monoclonal antibodies and all the strategies we have, different ventilator strategies, these are all crucial. We're doing much better in treating COVID patients, in preventing severe illness, in hospitalization. So we all need to know about those things. But we need to know about this too because this is endemic. People who are vaccinated show some waning immunity over time. We need boosters. This is going to be here uh, for a while. So what do we have to do? We have to reinforce the idea of, of helping uh, get people to a healthy BMI. So that's why this is important. This was a group of 30 patients, uh, 15 with a BMI over 30, and 15 matched to that group with a BMI of under 25. And so I'll show you... If you can see here, this is this group here was no COVID infection at all, and you can see that they had no spike neutralizing antibodies, of course, because they did not have any infection. However, here, this group had a BMI under 25, so a normal BMI, and they made a lot of spike neutralizing antibody, lots of antibody. This is the group with a BMI over 30, not much spike neutralizing antibody, and. The other problem is that this group also found that the cohort of patients with a BMI over 30 did make a lot of auto antibodies. So antibodies to their own system. What does this sound like? This sound like what are autoantibodies? You see autoantibodies occur in disease states like lupus and rheumatoid arthritis and things like that. Certainly one question would be, did these, does this have anything to do with that kind of long hauler syndrome that we see? People who have persistent symptoms after coronavirus, we don't know, but certainly a, a hypothesis. And, um, and people with a BMI of over 30 also had a very high level of C-reactive protein when compared to people who had a BMI of under 25. C-reactive protein is something that is also a marker of inflammation. We see this in other infections, something like dengue would be just one example, where you have something called molecular mimicry. We have proteins that are found in infections. They're kind of similar to proteins that are in our own body. And then something kind of goes awry in our ability to make antibodies. And instead of making antibodies to the spike protein like we would like to see and that we do see in people with a BMI that's lower. If you have a higher BMI over 30, you don't make as much spike neutralizing antibody, hardly any actually, and somehow your antibody production gets skewed so that it starts attacking your own, your own cells and it makes a cascade of inflammation. And that's what we see with coronavirus. We see a lot of um, little blood clots and inflammatory uh, cells that are um, causing uh, the lungs to just inflame and fill with fluid and your kidney function to shut down and small little strokes, myocarditis, inflammation in the heart muscle. So there's a, there's a hijacking here that occurs of our normal ability to make the good antibodies that we want to see with coronavirus. So this is just really, really important. Um, just one more reason for us to try to get to a healthy BMI and do all the things that we've talked about in some of our other videos uh, to help you get there. So I hope this is, uh, again, one more thing for you to keep in mind 
and um, and you guys have been doing great. We'll be making uh, another video about some strategies that you can use uh, to help you get there. Okay, thanks.